Hi, welcome to The Bitchy Baker. Uh, I'm going to talk at a normal speed today because I may or may not be hungover. <laughs> we are gonna make blueberry muffins today. They're very simple. I'm only making a dozen. So I'm using my ginormous 24 muffin pan again, but since we're only making 12, there's only 12 cups in there. So let's start. Okay, for ingredients and prep, check it out below. In the description. In the description. Listen, you're gonna have to tell me at least 10 more. So let's be let's be real with that. You ready to start? I'm yes. As ready as you are. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. We're gonna mix the dry ingredients first. Two cups of all-purpose flour. We're gonna make we got bigger bowls. I have learned my lesson with the overestimating the bowl capacity. <laughs> Two cups of all-purpose flour. Uh, three quarter cup of sugar, just regular old granulated sugar. We have a half a teaspoon of salt. Toss that in. We have two teaspoons of baking powder, not soda. I have made that mistake before. <laughs> powder. It won't be the same. You'll be like, why do these muffins suck? You'll know. Powder. Well, that's some powdery powder. This is it for the dry ingredients. So we're gonna give them a little whisk and make sure they're all combined. So somebody doesn't get one giant mouthful of baking powder, not soda, powder. Okay, <laughs> seriously, it's out of control. Now do the wet ingredients, which is a half a cup of butter. You wanna melt it and let it be completely melted, but you want it to cool off before you use it because you don't wanna start baking your stuff before it's ready. So try not to get completely covered in this crap today. So do you usually like having butter all over you? But it's not gonna... Right. It's the Lord's day. The Lord not on Sundays. The Lord does not want you to There'll be no butter that. wrestling today. We're gonna put our two eggs in without the shells. Don't throw the shells in. Nobody likes crunchy muffins. <laughs> I feel like that's an experience too. It might also be. Half a cup, a half a cup of whole milk. Not All... that half milk stuff? No, ew. I only like milk to bake with. If you drink it, it's gross. Hold on. <laughs> okay, stop holding on. All right, we're good. So everything's in here. We're going to whisk this together. until it's all combined. And this is a recipe you don't need your mixer for. Um, you can use it, but it just makes more dishes. And, and I'm trying to be nice to my kitchen manager Appreciate today. You. You're welcome. <clears throat> all right, so once this is all mixed and combined, and I know I have a little extra dish here, but this is a little bit of extra sugar that we're gonna put on top of the muffins. Once that is all combined, you're gonna start adding the dry to the wet, slowly. At least the mixer's not on to like throw it in my face this time. Yeah, it'll be my own fault if I do it. And just start whisking it together until it gets thicker. I used to make these uh, for the kids, which is why I'm making them now because school is back in tomorrow and they have to eat. They're very picky with that whole eating thing. Um, and this is something that's easy. They can just grab because while they're getting ready, I'm also getting ready. Okay, last of the dry mixture. It's gonna get hard to mix. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna go on a muffin tin. Yeah, it's one muffin right there. It'll it'll come out. It's just thick. Again, is that thick with three C's? Mm -hmm. It's the only thick we like around here. Thick with three C's. The boy thick. All right. Once this is not gross in in this whisk. You gotta stop describing your stuff as gross. Because things are gross before they get cooked, don't you think? No, you would eat this. That's disgust, see, that's gross. There you have it. Okay, once it's all made into a very like soft dough, then you're gonna wanna fold in. 
Fold it in. I love it. I love that. From Schitt's Creek. Yes. I'm gonna fold it in. Schitt's Creek. You gotta fold it in. Fold it in. What is folding? <laughs> exactly. You're gonna fold in the blueberries. It they the recipe called for two and a half cups. Uh, this is about two, almost two and a half cups because little fingers and big fingers have been walking by and eating them. So, mm, well, it started as two and a half cups until I got robbed. Seriously, I feel like I need to go to the gym to do this. It's a lot of blueberries. They're, these are gonna be very blueberry muffins. It is? There's a part in the casino where Robert De Niro tells his baker that every muffin needs to have the same amount of blueberries. Because I've seen that movie and I don't had, had none. Had none, and the other one was just full of blueberries. That's so funny. How are you gonna make sure every muffin has? I'm not. You just you get what you get, and you don't throw a fit. That's the rule. That's right. So you don't want to you don't want to squish them too hard because if you pop one, then you're gonna have purple muffins. So I don't know if you like that, but that's what's gonna happen. What if I'm a purple muffin kind of guy? I mean, I love blueberry muffins. I don't care what color they are. See, this is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. It's true. This is my extremely dirty 24 cup gigantic <laughs> muffin pan. You wanna fill them three quarters of the way full, just like any other cupcake, muffin, whatever you're putting in the in the things. This is kind of a thick batter though, so let's see. Three C's. I'm using my ice cream scooper. Again, it's like the best thing in this house. I use it for everything. We're just gonna pile them in there. Hopefully I don't get all crazy and make less than 12 because that's what happens. You get all excited, put way too much in each cup. Then you end up with three ginormous muffins instead of 12 normal size ones. Oh, I just got this on my finger. Fuck. Oh, sorry. I can't control the language. Okay. I didn't realize baking was so anger inducing. It's true. Well, it's true. <laughs> that is, trust me. Okay. I mean, so far, I feel like this is gonna make more than, than 12. I feel like the recipe may have lied. I used to make these as mini muffins and they made 24, but I think that the blueberries are so, like they're big. Oh, I just did it again. Don't look at that one. Um, these blueberries are really big, so. I mean, who likes small blueberries? All right, while we're scooping these, I did use, I always use muffin cups. I know they make silicone ones too. I own them, but they just feel like more work because you have to wash them. I know. When you have kids, the last thing you want to do is spend extra time washing silicone muffin cups. I also uh, sprayed just the bottom of them to make sure that they're going to release. They may or may not. We'll see, but the they should uh, release. <clears throat> and while we've been doing this, the oven's already on at 375. You know what? I'm gonna be able to add more muffins. Dang it. Yeah. It's making more than 12, so. I'm gonna put more than 12 in. I like to space them out, but now I'm kind of toast. Let's see, one, two, maybe like six more. All right. In fact, let's not oil those ones. Let's see if they release when we're done. We're gonna, we'll do an experiment. Otherwise we'll be eating muffins out of the bottom of a paper cup. So this is making about 18 of them. Yeah, totally. Ah! Shit is just everywhere. Is the screaming like part yes. of the culinary process? The it, baking process? Actually, it also, yes, that is. It's like, you know. Okay, <clears throat> done. There's actually 20. We got 20 muffins in here. They may, some of them are not overfilled, so they'll be like a little bit sm on the smaller side, but I think this is better, especially when you have kids, you can divvy them out a little easier. Okay, I put aside a little dish of sugar. We're gonna sprinkle each little muffin on the top with the sugar. That way as they rise and when they come out, there'll be delicious little sugar tops on them. So you're gonna do it for each one. And even though I made extra muffins, I guarantee this is plenty of sugar. 
When this is done, you're just gonna pop them in the oven. Ready to put them in the oven? Are you asking me or them? You. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, go for it. Them, they're like, get them in the oven already. <laughs> Hurry up. Okay, these bake for 25 to 30 minutes. So we'll be back in about 25 or 30 minutes. If you're liking these videos, please hit like and subscribe. Where's the subscribe? Down this way somewhere. Like Vanna White. Perfect. Stupid oven mitt. Yeah, they're all done. All golden brown and done. Ignore that weird giant muffin there. I scooped a little too much batter in it, but they look perfect. They smell really good. They were in a full 30 minutes because since we had more than 12, I decided to leave them in the full 30 minutes. They still look perfect. We'll not burn our faces off. So come on back and we'll taste some. Hi, we're back. Everything's done. They're warm. They're not melt your face off hot. They're warm. So we're gonna take one out. Uh, the blueberries got a little sticky in here. I mean, it's fine. It's just, uh, oh, it's perfect. See, they turned out really cute, really good. Perfect little muffins. I almost don't wanna cut it. It looks so cute, but I'm gonna. So <clears throat> we're gonna cut it in half. It looks really good. We're gonna put the butter on it. Looks like more than some. Nope, that's just some butter. <laughs> just, it's a small, small pad of butter. I know. Well, that's the thing. Now I want to wait for it to melt, but I don't. I want to like, I feel like I'm going to shove this whole muffin in my mouth. I mean, why wouldn't you? <laughs> it's too much. It's too I'm gonna, big. I'm going to make sure I zoom in closely when you no. take a big bite of that muffin. Okay, this is half a muffin because I feel, I feel dirty. Putting this whole, whole muffin in your mouth. <laughs> this is a family show. Is it? No. Oh, okay. All right. <clears throat> so there's a ridiculous amount of butter on this, as it there should be. Or the right amount of butter. As I said, as it should be. <clears throat> I haven't made these muffins in a long time because as you have kids, you just get the box mix. <laughs> so I used to, I mean, for real, I used to make homemade muffins. I thought I was like super mom. And then I went to work and had more kids and was like, and you get box muffins. So they smell good and they look good. Let's see if they taste good. Oh, it's so good. You're right. It was the right amount of butter. You should see all the kids behind me. Are they? Okay, so <clears throat> these are delicious and you saw how simple it was to make. They're actually very quick to just prep and then toss in the oven for 30 minutes. Makes your house smell really good. If you like these cooking videos of baking in real life with people that have other jobs and children, <clears throat> then come on back, <laughs> subscribe. I hope you like this video and uh, otherwise I'm gonna eat the rest of these muffins and see you next Tuesday. We're gonna keep eating it. <laughs>